Hello, gorgeous. Well, my name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting blessing. Well, Scorp, Scorp, I hope you're doing well and vibing high. There's some things going on in your subconscious. There's also about to be a lot of decisions, um, a lot of expansion, some harmony coming into your life, a lot of warmth. We are moving into two of the hardest weeks astrologically that uh, there's been in a really long time. We also have the Aquarius full moon on the 19th, and uh, this is a super blue full moon scorp. Oh, I just dropped my ring. Um, and because Aquarius is a fixed sign and Leo is a fixed sign, this will affect us as Scorpios um, a lot deeper. There could be a lot of things in your life that um, uh, there's unavoidable change in. There could be a lot of things coming. You may want to watch the video that I'm putting out today about this Aquarius full mood and then Tomorrow or Sunday, I will be doing a video about how to keep yourself balanced over the next two weeks with all the things happening astrologically. I don't know about you, but I've already been having a lot of things happen between Mercury retrograde and clients just really uh, tense and mean. And um, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to these next two weeks, not even just with me. I, I can manage it, but um, sometimes the way I do business gets really hard um, when things are rough astrologically because although I am balanced enough to not be affected by this, other people may not be. And so I'm not looking forward to it. With that being said, there's something about your belief system Go after what you want. Angel number 0110. Gratitude, talents, gifts. You are blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out in a crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That is your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. I claim spirit. A lot of you, um, you have a very, very beautiful talent in something, Scorpio. You're going to have a lot of options, but there's the space between here, the space between your conscious and your subconscious mind, some things happening um, that you may want to deal with. I've been working on some inner child things. I've been working on doing some different things, um, trying some new, new techniques um, because I'm reading a book. Um, about generational trauma and how we are born with generational trauma and it's really really a profound book it's called it didn't start with you and if you like to read and learn this is a perfect book to learn more about the generational trauma that actually they have found is in your DNA and some of you have been born you reincarnated with a lot of trauma passed down from generation from generation and it may be up to you Scorpio to break that I am passing this book on to my children because I do not want my grandchildren to have to take on the curses of our family and our family line. End of the month, the timing will be perfect. Pay attention to details. Lost in time, you must know where you're going. No direction lost. Get clear on your desires and not in this lifetime. Some things are not meant to be. Not for you. Out of alignment. Is this what you truly want? Some of you, it's not going to happen in this lifetime that you're going to come into union with a lover, that you're going to accomplish something, but it doesn't mean that there's not something else meant to be um, in this lifetime, Scorpio. There are just some things in this life that are out of alignment and, um, you know, you can't keep trying to push a square peg into a round hole. The divine asking you to get clear on where you're going. The timing will be perfect. Something could happen towards the end of the month, towards the end of August, the end of September. Some of you here, um, 
what is this? Some things are not meant to be. There's something you've been working towards and it's it's just not working. So it's time to pivot, Scorpio. Do I have this deck upside down? Sorry, guys, I did. You're holding on to things from the past. You've been soul searching and introspection, contemplating, but you're holding on to people in possession so deeply from the past that it's not allowing new energies in. It's getting so hard for me to do Scorpio readings when it comes to love because it's just the same thing all the time. And I know there's a part of you that have moved forward, but there's another part of you that's been stuck in this loop on and off for years. And Scorpio, it may be time to let it go, honey. You are being called to maybe save some money, um, work on the things you can change, work towards the things that are, um, you know, focus more energy and attention on the things that are working in your life. There's anxiety, there's disillusion, there's depression, refusing to compromise, someone stubborn and rigid, defensive. You could have a weakened immune system right now because of all the stress or because of what a person has been doing to you mentally, physically, and otherwise. It looks like um, there could have been a bad investment or prolonged depression here, Scorpio. It feels to me like um, there's been some things happening in your life that the divine is trying to, to scream at you, Scorpio, it's time to let go. Somebody's just foolish and is always defending their bad behavior with more foolish behavior or acting very stubborn. This could be a lover, but it may be a friend, a family member, a child. Some of you have people in your life that unfortunately you're not in alignment with anymore. Amen. I've, ha I've been there. I've had to purge out almost my whole life more times than one, Scorpio. You're not alone there. As we grow, as we morph, as we change, as I become the woman I want to become, the people in my life currently right now may not be there by next year. They just might not. If they're not in alignment with me, if they're not growing and changing with me, then they're going to go, period. To become the person you want to be, sometimes it requires letting go. Now, if you love this person, maybe... They'll try to change with you. But most of you, there's a lot of things in your life that's just not working. It's not in alignment. And they're holding you back. We've been made to feel like we are supposed to give this undying loyalty to people. Or it's mean to want to move forward and distance yourself. But it's not, Scorpio. Sometimes it's necessary. It looks to me like whatever this is that's not working for you, um, it's just out of alignment and it's been causing some unfortunate times. You're going to have a victory. You're being called now to focus on your goals, focus on your aspirations, focus on what works for Scorpio and in Scorpio's life. Um, there could be a need for more self-discipline. You're going through a lot of powerful changes, Scorp. You're, you're really changing the way you view certain things. There's some roles changing in your life. There's some really good things happening for you, my friends. Something's coming to an end. Um, over the next few weeks, there's a lot of things astrologically, some, some unavoidable change that may be bestowed upon you. There may be some things in people leaving your life, um, Scorpio, if they're no longer serving you, if they're not in alignment with you, if they're causing you to have these unfortunate times, sadness, and depression, the divine may remove these people for you. What's happening at the end of the month, please? What's happening at the end of the month for Scorpio, please? What is this? Beautiful. Some of you are going to have to connect to your power now. You could have been lowering your standards, Scorp. You could have been lowering your standards. I'm going to cover this up. You could have been lowering your standards in a situation that 
the divine is removing from your life because you are a warrior you are a warrior spirit you deserve abundance you deserve love you deserve honor and spirit is about to remove the things and people from your life that are not giving you that anymore there's inner changes believe in your own power untap potential baby there is so much untapped potential inside some of you you're just letting it go to waste by staying in this sad stuck place scorp you can confront these problems and rise above. You can become the uh, your best self, Scorpio. And it looks like some of you are on your way to do that. Some of you are about to really tap into this strong warrior inside. You could be in the military. You could be dealing with someone who's in the military with a very rigid mindset. Some of you were raised in a military family. And um, although your parents had good intentions, they could have unfortunately, you know, really caused you to have this, this fixated thinking or box thinking about some things that you're now breaking out of. Some of you are breaking out of social constructs, predictive programming. You're breaking some generational curses. You're breaking this cycle of on and off with a lover. You're really doing the damn thing out here. And you will have a victory, Scorpio. You will. But some things in this lifetime are out of alignment and they're just not meant to be and that can be a hard pill to swallow god i know about it trust me some of the people i've loved the most in my life lovers friends and otherwise at some point i was not in alignment with them anymore and i had to move on or you know it just was a constant fight constant battle and so you just you've got to go <clears throat> Tell me, what is the message that Scorpio's angels have for them? What, what do Scorpio's angels have for them, please? Awakening. Looks like you have been um, in this pause, Scorp. You've been hanging here in the hangman position. Ten of Earth, prosperity, security. Beautiful, Scorpio. You're intelligent. You're exuberant. And your uh, heart chakra and solar plexus is opening back up. Wishes, dreams, and happiness. The divine wants you to know. Your angels and ancestors want you to know that all of your dreams could come true. But you have to move away from just hanging here and not making decisions anymore. Some of you have been in this position for years now of thinking about doing things but not taking action on doing them we're just going to read the wishes dreams and happiness because i feel like your guides really want you to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel there there are beautiful things to come a lot of powerful things happening roles changing in your life where you are going to be the one that feels empowered that feels in charge a lot of prosperity you could be getting a new dog some of you, time is slipping away from a lover. They haven't made any moves towards you at all. They haven't changed anything at all. And you're finally getting to a place where you're ready to move on down the damn road. This is a card of dreams realized and wishes come true. All you have been hoping for is headed your way. I claim spirit. Your concerns or fears surrounding the issue you've asked about are unnecessary and soon will fade away. There is no more need to worry. Everything is going to work out beautifully. This is a magical moment in your life where things either work out the way you had planned or they will develop into something even better. Focus on your feelings of joy and contentment during this abundant time message from your angels the magic is going to happen that's all you really need to know 
be in a space of gratitude and let yourself feel the joy of anticipation, satisfaction with life, pride in your accomplishments, baby. Scorpio, you're being asked now to focus on the good things, focus on what is working, confront the other things head on. How can I fix this? What is the solution? No more focusing on problems. There's a few rules that I live by. I never focus on the problem. I focus on the solution. I never focus on what isn't working. I focus on what is. And when you change those little things about your perspective, you can't even imagine the beauty that could come into your life, Scorpio. Honestly. Focus on the beautiful things and get in, anticipate beauty and joy and happiness. Anticipate positive change because boy, do you have a lot of great things on the way. What is this awakening? You could be awakening to something. I'll tell you, next week's energy um, is going to feel like an electric shock for some of us. Honestly, it's a, a lot of Uranus energy. Uranus, you know, the planet of of, of spontaneous, um, you know, action. And, and I'll tell you, an unexpectedness, the planet of awakening. And, and a lot of you have something coming over the next few weeks by the end of September that it may feel like a shock to your nervous system. You are awakening about a lover in your life, it looks to me. You're awakening about a decision you have to make lover's energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You're awakening to this. It's been slow. You've been moving slow here. But there's been um, a wake-up call that this person's got mental health issues, codependency. They're chaotic. There could be a wake-up call about cheating, Scorpio. It looks like... You've been self-sabotaging and self-sacrificing all at the same time. There could be some bullying behavior. Um, you're awakening to this negative mindset you may have right now. It, it takes... It takes at least 30 days of consistently working on your mindset to start to see any change. So for 30 days, if you focus only on the positive, only on the solution, within 30 days, you will start to see a transit. Your, your life will start to transition. You'll see little good things coming in, or at the very least, you'll start feeling lighter. But it, it takes a lot of consistency to be mindful. Why devil energy? There's something you're awakening to that you've been sacrificing yourself. You've been sacrificing your life for another person. There could have been some lies here. They, there may be some lies that unfold. Looks like you've been feeling vulnerable. Some of you are having health problems. Some of you are dealing with either having a drug addiction or an alcohol addiction. Um, one who only worries about their self. There's somebody in your life that only worries about their self. There's been trickery, risky behavior with this person. There could be enemies masquerading around you, Scorp. Be careful on who you're trusting. I do not love this energy. There's something that you're going to awaken to. There's something that, that you may find out over the next 15 days about someone. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, another Scorpio, it may be... Um, the case for you. Whatever's happening here is for you and your greater good. And whatever is happening here is for you to start really um, confronting your life challenges and connect to your power. This is all for you. So whatever happens over the next 30 days, Scorpio, just know that it is all for you. Life is happening for you, not to you. Life is always happening for you, Scorpio. And remember that. Somebody could have really blue eyes. Somebody's throat chakra could be closed because you've had to um, 
close your mouth and not speak. Yeah, expression. Express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear of judgment. Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in your power of life to guide you and heal all concerns. Self-expression is liberating and healing. You may want to do some shadow work and write this person that only worries about their self a letter. Read it out loud. Express yourself. Rip it up. Give it back to the divine for healing. The angels of healing are with you now. We picked that up yesterday. But healing your throat chakra, important. That's one of your throat, your crown, your third eye are how you communicate with your higher self and with your guides and your angels and your ancestors. So you really want to make sure that all three of them are nice and open and not damaged. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day ever. We're going to have the best damn Friday. I have off tomorrow. I'm so excited. Today is actually my Friday. So those that work Monday through Friday, you made it through the week. Lovingly.